Hi, good morning. Uh, Herbert Rosal here. I came to Nantwich in 1968 as headmaster of the Nantwich and Acton Grammar School. In 1969, I uh, started a Nantwich Historical Society and we were determined to make people interested and enthusiastic about the local history of this town. The Holy Holy Day celebrates the end of the siege of Nantwich in 1644. The celebration is very colourfully improved by the arrival of probably up to 500 members of the Seal Knot Society who reenact the battle in, in the middle of the town uh, where great crowds can gather round. OK, we're here at Millbank School in Nantwich. We're, um, this is where the regiments gather and um, collect their powder and prepare for the battle. Um, this is where they form up, this is where they practice. They haven't, most of these guys haven't, haven't had a reenactment since August Bancoli last year. So they're a little bit rusty, keen to get going. And we fight with a, as we've said before, 16 foot pike. During the Civil War they would have been 18 foot, but we fight with 16 foot pikes. Um, we have to learn to drill with them, carry them, shoulder them and fight with them. The situation leading up to the battle was that Nantwich here in the south of the county was very much uh, in, in support of the Parliament under Sir William Burton and the rest of the county uh, rather fought for the king. People were going to die, everybody knew people were going to die, but the suffering in the town was such that uh, people had to break out of the town they had to do what they had to do. They had to get out there and fight. Yeah, well, we'll march onto the battlefield and um, immediately we'll be faced by the enemy. And this is a, a little bit of intrepidation. This is where the butterflies start to, to turn a little bit in your stomach. You start to look across the field at the enemy and wonder who you're going to be fighting against, who's going to come towards you. The guys, uh, they'll be excited but a little bit nervous and they'll uh, be itching to go. Eventually the, the two armies will come together, the pikes will start pushing. It's 20 odd blokes, in close order, driving forward, trying to gain ground by pushing the other block back. It, it was a question really of strength and, and people who were the toughest and the hardest. Uh, these were the people uh, that overcame because we're miles away yet from disciplined, disciplined fighting. We've come to the point in the parlay now, it's where the battle's been ongoing for a while and uh, both sides will pull back and the commanding officer will move forward and speak to each other and offer parlay, which means offer uh, retreat for both sides, surrender on both sides, or both sides step back and uh, walk away from the battlefield. The majority of the time, one side will say, no, we're winning this battle, we'll, we'll take, we're going to carry on and that'll be it, cannons will stride up again and away they go. And that's what's happening today. What I love about the Sealed Knot is it is full contact, you know, you, it doesn't matter what the script says, when you're out there you're beating the hell out of each other, you walk off the field, you know if you've won or if you've lost, there's a result, you've earned your beer, and that's what I love about it, it's very competitive.
the lifting of the siege was an important point in the history of this country. It was very important uh, for Charles, if he was going to do anything, to keep control of the northwest of England. The Battle of Nantwich marks the moment when he ceases uh, to control uh, the northwest. Having been overcome in the northwest, he was soon to lose the Civil War, and when he lost the Civil War, uh, he lost his head, and England momentarily became a republic under Oliver Cromwell.